All right, so here we have the car, Pure Ride. W103, 10 inch display. This is a unit that is good for older cars that don't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I know they put iPlay in A Auto, but that's probably because of, you know, trademark reasons they don't have a license for it, but whatever. Anyway, it allows for wired or wireless of both CarPlay and Android Auto. And as we can see here, it shows phone link, FM transmitting, which we'll get into. It says HD, it's not completely, uh, it's not even 720p, but for the size of the screen, it doesn't matter. That it can use an SD card, uh, has rear view camera, this one actually comes with a rear view camera, voice controls, auxiliary cable, and USB. You can also use uh, a SIM card. So, opening the box. We have the unit itself, which we'll look at in a minute. And then everything that comes with it. So here's the aux cable. This is where you will get the best quality sound. Here is the power adapter, which ends in a USB-C. USB -C. This is one of the mounting brackets, which I will not be using. And this is the other mounting bracket that you can hooked to either your windshield or your dashboard. It has a suction cup with some tackiness to it. Uh, I'm just going to be taking off the end of it and using it on my own mount that I have. And it also comes with this for your suction cup mount. I guess if you actually feel like, you know, screwing something into your dashboard, I, I, I don't get it all right so let's take a look at the unit itself and there it is as you can see it's kind of reflective it is an ips display but it's wide it's got some heft to it on this side we have the USB-C power in, it's not for your phone. A USB-A that can be used for your phone or USB drive. Um, and it might help if I put it, we can read it. The audio out, which is for the, uh, the auxiliary cable. The cam is a backup camera. Actually, I don't think, I thought mine was supposed to come with it, but I guess maybe it didn't. Uh, then a TF SD card and an external microphone if you want to put that on. On the back, it does have one speaker and the mounting brackets. On this side, we got nothing. Oops. And that's basically it. Not a whole lot. Yeah, I thought this actually came with the backup camera. I thought this model did, but it wouldn't matter because I'm not going to be using the backup camera anyway. So let's take a look at the mounts that it comes with. So this is a much more permanent mount. Uh, there's a screw on the bottom to be able to turn that. And then a little on the side where you can click it up and down. And it would basically just sit on your dashboard like so. Uh, it does come with double-sided sticky. And it does have, as you can see, 
again, screw holes. So if you wanted to screw it into your dashboard for some reason, I can't imagine why anybody would want to do that, but you can. But I'm not going to be using that mount. Then we have this mount, which can connect to your windshield or your dashboard. It can be extended, so you can have it like that. You can have it like that, depending on your windshield. And then this arm extends out as well. So, you know, if you had it on your windshield, maybe, you know, up here, you could extend the arm out and get it a little closer to you. Now, I'm not going to be using either of these mounts because I bought a CD player mount for this with a ball joint. And the reason is, is my dashboard is fairly high. And as a result, I don't want the unit to sit up here and block my vision. Even here, it kind of blocks my vision. Instead, it's going to sit right over top of the current radio. So, uh, give me a second to get the ball joint off, and then we will show you how to install it. Alright, slight change of plans here. It looks like I am going to be using one of the mounts for a little while. I thought that I could get the back off of the ball joint and use it with the CD mount, but it's reversed from what I thought it was. So I need to get an adapter for it, but that's okay. I'll just order one off of Amazon and we'll go from there. So, as you can see, we got the sticky stuff. I'm just gonna peel that off. I'm gonna tighten that all up. Why are you doing that? Okay, so temporarily, I have had to use that one mount. Although, the version I have, the uh, mount that hooks into the back here takes a bit to click, whereas on this one, it clicks in right away. I don't know if that's something that's common or not, but you really have to put some effort to get it to click in. That's not too much of my vision being uh, obstructed. So I'm not super concerned. And again, once I get the correct mount to put on the back of that, because I thought that the ball joint was on the part of the arm, not on the actual connector. So we're gonna take our cable here and we're gonna plug it in to the 12 volt power and I'll worry about cable managing later. And it should. down the bottom. This does not stick extremely well, by the way. You pretty much need it sitting on the dash a little bit. So, let's 
go through here. Uh, I play is going to be Apple CarPlay. A Auto is Android Auto. AirPlay would let you, if you have an iPhone, you can use the Wi-Fi to mirror your screen on AirPlay. Auto Link will let both Android phones and uh, iPhones, if they're connected through USB, to mirror their screens. Uh, it's not something I would ever do. And it's also not something that I would recommend. It's probably illegal pretty much everywhere to try to use it to watch movies and stuff like that. The whole idea is to be hands-free. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I like that. All right. So I have a nice high quality USB cable here. Seriously. As you can see, like I said, it doesn't stick all that well. So your mileage may vary as to how good it sticks. Here. It's funny because this product came pretty highly rated. But here it is, not wanting to cooperate as much as I would like it to. Now, I'm just going to run this around. That is not. Jesus. CD mounted bracket will hopefully be a lot better than this one. I gotta say this this bracket pretty much sucks. Guess I can try putting it further back. Even then, with it kind of laying on the, the dashboard, it's wanting to pop up. Do not recommend that. But let's get into the features. And then once I get this bracket mounted, I'll worry about uh, checking that. So... EQ, there's a bunch of standard. It's probably the film. Seriously, no. I'm gonna say I do not recommend using this suction cup at all.
Just even with it not really doing much and it's sitting there, it's wanting to come off. I'm almost afraid to drive with that. Okay, why are you not working? Oh, there we go. So you got a bunch of different EQs to try out. You can also, if you don't want uh, to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly, you can just use this to make the fans free phone calls. There is a microphone. There's also a power button right here where you, you It'll turn off the screen. USB and SD card. Again, if you have those while you're parked, sure. While you're uh, driving, no. We're getting a transmit in a second. So settings, device speaker, turn that off. Unless you have no radio at all, turn it off. Right drive would just flip everything if you if your uh, steering wheel is on the right. Restore si system settings, whatever. For your phone, you can either set this to Android Auto when it's plugged in and Apple CarPlay or Auto Link, which is, again, how you mirror your screen. Uh, it does have a Wi-Fi. I believe that's really only for uh, the iPhone. Let me check my Wi-Fi. Yeah. It, my Wi-Fi isn't really looking for it. And then for your car. Uh, so this, if you have the backup camera, you can change your park lines and your settings. You can mirror the rear camera. I don't know why you'd want to do that. So let's go back home. Uh, brightness. It has an auto brightness feature, which I would probably suggest you use. So it's not overly bright when it's night. And then we have transmit. This model will both transmit through FM radio and Bluetooth radio. To your, uh, if your car radio supports Bluetooth, which mine does. So we're gonna hit FM transmit. And then we're gonna go to 87.5 and see if that's a station. No. Let's try 87.7. All right, 87.7 has nothing. But you hit the, you make sure the power is on and it'll transmit to it. All right, I'm now gonna turn my Bluetooth on. And I'm going to pair a new device right here. It might pop up on the home screen. It shows my Pixel 7 Pro. All right, so we're going to go to FM Transmit. And you see, I turned my Bluetooth on, it automatically connected to Android Auto. Now it's getting the time from my phone, everything else. Uh, as you can see, we have that button 
which gives us all of our apps that we can use. And not all of your apps will be able to be used because certain things are not supposed to be used while you're driving. All right. I can go to YouTube Music. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go to YouTube Music on here. I'm going to go to Copyright Free Music. That does not sound great. So we're going to go back to the FM transmit. Try a different radio station. That's better. It actually doesn't sound horrible, but you have to turn this on every time. So we're going to turn that off, and we're going to go to media and Bluetooth audio. We're going to go to Bluetooth transmit. See if it finds my car. They did say that this will not work with every make and model of car. Pairing quit. I probably should have tried this before. Add phone. The system is searching for your phone. Using your handset, look for a Bluetooth device called My Car. Incorrect pin entered. Use one, two, three, four. Add phone. The system is searching for your phone. Using your handset, look for a Bluetooth device called My Car. All right, so this might not work with my Bluetooth, which is fine. It says it's connected, but it's not giving me any sort of pop-up to uh, put in the pin. But that's okay. Because we have the aux cable. And this, uh, as I said, is going to get you the best sound quality anyway. What I was hoping was that it would work with my car and that I could still use my steering wheel controls to control this and Let's try something. Let's see if this works. Incorrect pin entered. Use one. Incorrect pin entered. Exiting the hands-free system. Yep, that is not going to work. Not on my car. Other cars, it might. So... There goes my being able to use that. So I should be able to, oh, I won't need to. Now,
audio out. much bigger. Seriously? So we got the aux cable. I'm just gonna plug that into my auxiliary port for now. to find a volume that's pretty good for you right but that you can still adjust with your radio and then the other thing you can do you can plug your phone in charging and now it's playing through my phone that's charging I just don't know if it's charging fast I can either control it from my phone or here. Navigate to Wawa. All right, there's a Wawa four minutes away. Navigate to that one. Yes. Okay, Wawa four minutes away. I'm not near my house, so I don't care if you guys are seeing this screen. I'm well more than 15 miles from where I live, so you can see this. All right, let's see how this works while I'm driving. Not that I'm going to drive extremely fast, but I will say I do not like that mount. Not at all. this up. Now, I don't mind my phone being hooked up through the wire. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Center Square Road. Uh, because after the work day, I want to charge my phone while I'm driving. And it 
it's supposed to be enough of a charge that using the Bluetooth and the Android Auto is not supposed to continue to drain your battery. That'll be something I test. Next right onto Center Square Road. Turn right, Center Technically, it's on the left, but... Testing my microphone on my new head unit. Hi Doc, testing my microphone on my new head unit. Ready to send it? Yes. Sending your message. Now this isn't the newest version of Android Auto. That hasn't rolled out to me yet. So, that'll be coming soon. Oh, and there's the microphone right there. Yes, sir. How are you feeling? Better what? Well, I was just making sure. How do I sound? I'm testing out a new mic. Oh, you sound pretty clear, actually. Yeah, and you sound pretty good, too. So that works. Okay, cool. That's really all I wanted to check. And then the music comes back on. So, not bad. I'm gonna use it for about a week and we're gonna see how it works. And then what I'll do is I will put the review after this part of the video and let you know. But I can already tell you, I do not like that suction cup now. Not at all. All right, so we're going to just get into the final review. Overall, pretty positive. Uh, I will say this arm, this particular unit, the 10-inch unit, is too heavy to for it normally. So as you see, it's resting right on my dashboard here. <clears throat> if you don't rest it on the dashboard, it's... Uh, it's not going to stay in place. Uh, I do have that CD adapter. I've just been having a hard time finding a, a bracket that'll fit the back of the unit and do everything that way. So, overall, reviews are positive. The review is positive. Uh, let's see if it does it this time. For some reason, when it first starts, see how it's maxed out the volume? It just resets that volume like that, and I hate that. So what I have to do is I have to set my uh, car radio to no volume, or I go deaf once it starts up. It's a bit annoying. I have had some other times, and I have a picture of it. I'll put that in the video. Uh, and it's doing it right here. So you see where it's showing the Bluetooth is not connected, but
but the Android Auto is. When it does that, it means Android Auto is connected fine, but it's not going to let me make phone calls through the device. And I don't know if this is a Pixel 7 Pro Bluetooth problem or the CarPuride uh, W103 problem. I can reset and do everything, or I can just plug in through everything. It does charge. I went driving for about an hour, uh, like about maybe last Saturday, and it went up about 20% while still using uh, the Android Auto and YouTube Music, so... It'll charge your phone on longer trips. That's really what matters. You just do that and we get right back into it. This part works fine. Uh, but like I said, when it shows that the Bluetooth isn't connected right, my Apple Auto will tell me, oh, there was a problem connecting restart the device. And then that may fix it, or it may not. So I don't know if that's a, a Pixel 7 Pro problem or a device problem. Also, uh, the FM transmit, where it says Bluetooth transmit here, <clears throat> that does not work with my particular phone uh, car. My car radio will not connect to it because there's no keyboard for me to plug in uh, the passcode that it wants me to plug in. So I'm connected through auxiliary and I've been fine with that. Uh, I was hoping to do a test where if this was connected to Bluetooth to my radio and to my phone, if my car steering wheel controls would still work. But uh, I wasn't able to do that. So would I recommend this? For an older car that doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, I would I would say get something like this. You don't necessarily have to get this one. This is the most expensive model. They have two smaller models, which are much less expensive. Uh, and other manufacturers make similar ones. You can actually get one with a um, a camera built right into the front so you have a dashboard camera uh they're pretty much all made by the same basic manufacturer they're just changed depending on what each company wants so for older cars this is pretty good you know you'll get you'll get your your maps you'll get your music uh, when it's working correctly, like I said, I don't know if that's a phone problem or the unit problem. Uh, you can get your phone calls through it. You can get your text through it. All that stuff. So, there's my review. Uh, it's definitely much cheaper than ripping out your radio. I mean, it would cost me about $700 to have somebody professionally install a new radio. And this I got on sale. I got this for two fifty one. So it just took forever to get to me. The uh, the shipping method they used it took a long time. So all right. So there's the review of the Carpy Ride W one zero three unit. Uh, get a better mount. Check and see if it's your phone or whatever <coughs> causing some Bluetooth issues. But other than that, it works perfectly fine. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.